Our top story, in Syria, foreign-backed militants have moved into the centre of the Christian town of Ma'lula. Al-Qaeda-linked Nusra Front fighters have stormed the Greek Orthodox monastery of Mar Thekla and are holding several nuns there. The convent is home to some 50, rather 40 nuns and orphans. Given past atrocities, security sources and observers don't rule out the possibility of violence against the Christians in the town. The picturesque town is a symbol of the ancient Christian presence in Syria and its 5,000 residents are among the few in the world who speak Aramaic, the language of Jesus Christ. Let's get more now from Mohammed Ali, our correspondent with us live from Damascus. So, Mohammed, tell us the latest. Yes, Huma, as you have just been saying, a number of uh, armed men uh, entered uh, two parts of uh, the historic town of uh, Malula in the northeastern countryside of Damascus and uh, attacked actually uh, uh, Taqla Monastery there and held captive the head of the monastery, uh, Balajia uh, Sayyaf, and a number of nuns who were there and were inside also the orphanage close to this uh, monastery. Uh, we have to note here that this is not the first time uh, armed men and uh, uh, pro-Al-Qaeda militants enter uh, to Malula or attack this ancient and Christian uh, city in Damascus countryside. Uh, earlier in the year, uh, armed men occupied this town, uh, terrified its, uh, uh, its residents, and of course the army was able at the end to secure it. However, uh, we know that today this is what the foreign-backed militants did. They attacked this town. Once again, we have to note here, uh, Huma, that uh, the reason of such an attack, uh, uh, according to experts, is to perhaps decrease maybe the pressure on the militants in an area very close to Malula al nabak where armed men uh, are, being, are being chased down by the uh, Syrian army units over there. So they thought if they attacked Malula, they can perhaps decrease the pressure and alleviate uh, what is happening on the militants over there. However, uh, we have to also note that uh, al qalamun area is a region north uh, uh, in the northern countryside of uh, Damascus over there. It contains several uh, uh, villages and gatherings. Uh, one of those villages and gatherings is in Nibik, as I told you, where clashes are happening. Deir Atiyah and Qara uh, uh, were all, are also parts of uh, this region. However, those were the latest victories for the Syrian army in which they were secured and cleared of militants. So uh, the, 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 the armed men in, in the whole region are under huge pressure as the army is chasing them down. However, there uh, is a flow of uh, militants uh, from Lebanon to Syria uh, because this region is uh, 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 on the border between Lebanon and Syria and close to Arsal also that hosts a large number of militants. This is why we see now uh, a large number of operations happening. This is why we uh, know that the Syrian military continues its operations to clear it of militants. However, what is uh, mostly important now is the main highway that links Damascus with Homs. It is cut now because of the uh, uh, operations and because of the snipers of the foreign-backed militants particularly in al Nibik, where the army is working on securing this town. And we know that, uh, according to the reports we're getting, we might hear in the coming 24 to 48 uh, uh, hours, this town secured and the whole highway secured. Mohammed Ali, a correspondent with us live from Damascus. Mohammed, thank you very much for that update.